A brand new Estronior event has just started. I'm talking about the ExoCares event, but this year it has a few exciting changes. So let me show you everything that's new and then we'll complete the first tier. We need to start the event, so let's bring both of these rockets in. And we've also completed the mission where we need to start the event and we will receive this special new item. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. I don't know how to read the name of this item, but we've got a pretty interesting description. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. There's a little bit of lore in there. But this is one of the new additions to the event this year. We can send this item and we'll get points for it. So if you place something on here and send the rocket, you will get points. Okay, so let's talk about the tiers. We've got three different tiers here and each one requires a different amount of points to complete. For the first tier, we'll get this Captain's Coif hat and we will complete this in this video. For the second one, we'll get the Econier palette. And for the third one, we'll get the Invision Visor. All of these are really cool, but before I go over how to get the points, I first want to talk about the new Estronier announcement, which is a community goal of planting 10 million trees. If we all collectively plant 10 million trees, then the System Era team, the developers of Estronier, will donate $5,000 to a charity of their choice. So I'll make sure that in the next couple of videos, we will contribute to that community goal of 10 million trees, and we are gonna plant a ton of them. But now let's talk about how you can get points points in here. You get 5 points for 1 debris, so that's when you collect one singular debris and you send it. If you have a full one with 5, you'll get 25 points. Then 50 points you'll get basically for this or I guess for a scrap. And then you can get 100 or 300 points for packaged debris. That's the larger type of debris that you can't really shred necessarily. Or some of it you can shred with the extra large one, but there are also extremely large debris that you cannot shred in the game but you can package them and send them here if they're not too big some of them are even too big to send but we can talk about all of that in just a second now i want to show you one of each of these types so that you can know how to get points but don't forget that you can also use this item and this is crafted at a small printer let me find it this is the thing the item the whatever whatever the name is and you'll need one scrap and one organic to craft it you already know we are gonna use the new tappers to get a ton of free organic and we've already got scrap farms all over here that's why we are completing the event on this save where we've got our glacial base but i think i've done enough talking let's actually craft one of these and now we can send them so that you can see how you send the rocket as well we can just place them on here and there we go we've got 150 points oh and it actually didn't use any bytes that's pretty nice and there we go we've got the 150 points credited into the uh, progression here so for the first year we're gonna need 1500 which is pretty low actually we can get that in just a couple minutes now i want to show you how to get all of the different types of items that you can use to gain points i found the debris here so i can go ahead and package this and now we can send this and we'll gain, I think, 300 points for this, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see. Yeah, so this is worth 300 points. We can go ahead and send that too. And now I look for the rest of them. And this event also encourages you to clean up the planets. So you can gather a ton of debris from all over the planets in Estronier, cleaning them up in the process. And for your trouble, you get some points and cool rewards in the ExoCares event. Now we've got some smaller debris over here, but not small enough that we can just put in our backpack. So we can package this. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that's gonna get us 100 points each. So I'll get three of these. And there we go. This should be another 300 points right there. You can see how this is actually pretty easy to complete. And we'll also look into some automation later on. But you can see how the event is pretty easy. And you're doing a good thing cleaning up the planets. So I've got to say I actually love the Extraneer ExoCares event. It's probably one of the best events of the year. But I can't seem to find some smaller debris through here. So we might need to blow something up to get it. By the way, yeah, if something's way too big, you can just use some dynamite to blow it up. And it will get broken into smaller pieces. And then you will be able to send those. So nothing's off the table. You can use whatever strategy you prefer to complete this event but i'm going to head back to the base to get some dynamite oh but we might not need it after all because i found some of that small debris on here i just want to get some to show you so here we collected one of them and that should be five points 
and we've got four of them here so this should be 20 so you can see how you can collect whatever you find and everything will give you points for this you can even be in the early game and still complete this event and i suggest you actually do this fairly early in the game if you can because apart from all the cosmetic rewards the rockets will sometimes come back with some pretty cool items that would otherwise be pretty difficult to unlock in the early game. And once we complete all three tiers, then we can start completing the secret ones. Yes, there are extra tiers after you complete the event, and those grant you a ton of items and good ones. So we can send these for 320 points right there. And I think we are more than halfway done with the first tier. And I was talking about how you can get items after completing the event. Here we've got some of the items that I got from the breakdown event. While the event and after completing it. And that's not all. We still have some more over on this other side of the base. So you can do the same with the Exocares event. After you complete it you can keep completing tiers. And you'll get a ton of cool items. As you can see right here, the rocket just came back with some items. So we've got small wind turbines, small solar panels. We've got a tractor, a trailer, two trailers, and a medium storage. So again, if you're in the early game, these are pretty good items. I'm probably not going to use them. But we will also get better items down the line. You can use these to scrap them, or you can actually use them if you don't have a tractor and you want one. All right, but now I want to get some teppers on some plants here. So I got six pickle pod seeds. I will plant all of them on here. There we go. And now I'll get some teppers. Now we can go ahead and set a tepper on each one. And these should provide us with infinite organic. Now we can just come in here and pick up the organic manually. Or we can use some auto arms. And we can place three auto arms. I think that should be enough maybe. If not we can always add more. And there we go. We've got all of these set up on here. Now we need a platform to store all our organic. And if we don't want to just store it, we can use some other auto arms in here to automatically feed it into some of these small printers so that we can create this new item. I still don't know how to call it. And since we have a scrap farm right next to it, you can imagine how we can also route another auto arm from here and they can both fit into the same platform and then we'll create a ton of those items. You can see how we can complete the whole event in about 15 minutes if we do that. So that would be way too easy. And now all we need to do is set some organic into the selector slots of these and we can turn them on just like that they should all be able to reach into this middle platform something like that we can always readjust them and then we need to disable output on all of these and now we'll store a ton of organic in here and whenever we need some organic we can just take a medium resource canister from here and put it right next to this so that we can craft a ton of items and we can do the same with the scrap as i said we can automate this even further but we'll do that in another video for right now i just want to get a couple of these items so that we can complete the first tier we are not really that far and one of these is 50 points so i guess we need 15 of them okay i think we got enough organic right there we can go ahead and set this on repeat and now we can enable output on this and we should get a ton of them just like that. And there they are. Let's stop this and now we can easily just collect them and throw them on the extra request platform to get a ton of points. We can send this for 400 points and then I think we've got another one for another 400 and there we go we should have the tier completed in just a second now and there it is we've got our reward for the first tier and here it is the captain's coif uh, let me actually change the palette so we can see it a little bit better we can get something brighter like this okay so now you can see it a little bit better on there that's a pretty interesting haircut let's just say that we will also unlock the palette that goes well with this. I'll just throw the liminal leak one on because I like that one. And now the next tier is at 4200 points and you can see we've got another reward waiting for us in about 1000 points. Those are gonna be some pretty cool items I guess. And yeah the next palette is called the Econeer and that should go pretty well with the Captain's Coif. So we will continue the event, we will clean up the planets and we will plant a ton of trees in the upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of that. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Astroneers!